Next one is exercise number 9. Draw the isometric view of the object given below. So in AutoCAD, give the settings, units, limits, UCS icon, dim style. In addition to this, you need to give another setting. That is drafting settings you need to change. So type DS and give enter you get a box in this box you have so many tabs in the snap and grid tab select the snap and grid tab and at the left to bottom you have rectangular snap selected so you need to select isometric snap and give ok then switch on ortho mode by pressing F8 First, I am going to draw this I circle. This circle is called ISO circle of diameter 30 mm. To draw the ISO circle, I go to ellipse option and choose axis end. Then in the command line, I choose ISO circle. Then it shows specify center of circle. For center, I give a click on the screen. Then I move the mouse so I get the ISO circle like this but I want ISO circle in this position so I press F5 button to get the required position so this is the required position similar to the question so after getting this position you need to give the radius value so diameter is given as 30 so radius you need to give 15 so type 15 and give enter then I am going to move this circle for 70 mm so I copy so I go to copy command then select this object to show select object so I select this circle then give enter then it shows specify base point I click the circle center point and I move my mouse towards right top but it is not coming there so you need to press F5 to get the cursor in the required position then type 70 and give enter so you get the circle there then you give escape then select line command and join the first circle top quadrant and the second circle top quadrant then using the same line command you join the first circle bottom quadrant and the second circle bottom quadrant then I am going to draw this box this box value is given as 30 mm so I choose line command then I draw a box here so give a click on the screen then move your mouse towards this direction then type 30 and give enter then move your cursor down if the line is not coming there you press F5 to get the cursor there then press 30 then again press F5 to get the circle in the required position then type 30 then move your cursor upwards then type 30 you get the box then you need to join the box then only it will show the center so type join command then select the four lines by using rectangular selection then after selecting the object give enter now the four lines are joined next I am going to move this box so select move command select the box then give enter then it shows base point so I click this box center as base then I click the circle center as base point so 
that box center and the circle center will get made then I am going to copy this box then I move this so copy select the box and give enter then it shows specific space point so select the circle center and move towards right side top but it is not coming so you press F5 button to get the cursor there to get the box there then type 25 mm and give enter then give escape now you join the box corners by using line command next I am going to draw this bigger box that size is 50 mm so similar to the smaller box I am going to draw the bigger one so 50 then press F5 to get the line downwards 50 then I press F5 to get the line in this direction 50 then 50 next I am going to join this join enter select the four lines by using rectangular selection then give enter next I am going to move so select move command it should select the object so select the object and give enter then it shows specific base point I select the box center and I click the smaller box center so that box will come here again I am going to copy this so I select copy then it shows select object I select the bigger box then give enter then I select the center point of the box then I move towards right side top but it is not coming so I press F5 so now it's coming in this position so I give 25 mm and escape again I choose line command and uh, connect the corners so by using line command I join the corner points so now the diagram is over after that I am going to trim the unwanted part of the line so while trimming operation if it shows select object means you need to give enter So select the unwanted lines, trim the unwanted lines. So this is the required object. Then give escape. Now I am going to give dimension. First, I am going to give this diameter. So the diameter is 30 mm. So we need to give the diameter symbol also. So to give the diameter, I go to the annotate here. At the top, we have home tab, insert tab. Next, we have annotate tab. Then in the annotate tab, you select multi leader. Then it shows specific leader arrowhead location. You click a point on the circle then give another click on the outside of the circle so you get the cursor here so you need to type 30 diameter 30 before 30 you need to give diameter symbol so bring the cursor at the front by using the keyboard arrow then at the top you have symbol here you select the symbol then at third option you get diameter you select the diameter you get the symbol here then click outside you get the value if you want to increase the size you select the diamond dimension line then right click go to properties and in the properties suppose if the box is small you can enlarge it then in the arrowhead size you give value increase your value 
and also this text height also you increase the value now you get the size somewhat bigger next time i'm going to dimension this 70 in this 25 and 25 so for that i go to the dimension annotation aligned option then i click the endpoint of this line then i place here then to assemble this 70 mm line i go to this annotate option then i select this dimension in the dimension i have oblique option here i select the oblique option then it shows select object i select the 70 and give enter then it shows center oblique angle you need to give 150 if you want the dimension in this direction you need to give 150 suppose if you want to dimension in this direction you need to give 30 then select aligned option so i am going to give 15 here then i choose this dimension then oblique select this line give enter then give angle 150 and give enter then go to annotate linear aligned option select these two points and the place here then choose dimension oblique select the dimension and give enter then give angle 150 next i am going to give this box value so click this midpoint so click select this midpoint and place there 30 then type double click the 30 value you get the cursor here bring the cursor to the front then we need to insert the this square box symbol so go to symbol option then at the end you have other go to other you get the symbol box here in that box you come downwards and select this white square box then copy this and you paste here give control v to get the box here similarly you dimension this bigger one double click the 50 value go to symbol click other then choose the white box and copy this and paste here then you need to give all dimensions are mm so in the a text option go to single line give start point then height 8 mm then angle 0 then type all dimensions are in mm So that's all.